The officer in charge, OC Operation Zender, a joint task force chief superintendent of police, CSP Justin Beriyinde, has expressed concern over lack of reward system in the police force, stating that this account for the low performance in the force. CSP Beriyinde, who may face during it the public presentation of his biography entitled Justin Teve Beriyinde, a societal vehicle for justice, authored by Lubem. Agishi is part of activities marking the retirement of the JTF's commander in a couple of days. Plus TV correspondent Francis Stair reports that the outgoing JTF commander, who has recorded several successes in crime fighting, rescue operation and kidnapping, banditry among others under the Benue command, called on the police authority and government to bring back the reward system. We don't encourage men who have made sacrifices who have made unwavering commitment, who have made dedication to the nation, to the state, and a deeds of law enforcement policy. It is unfortunate that others will not follow. CSP Justin Bendier is the OC Zenda. He has been a pride of the command. Most of the successes of the command in the last two years are in one way or the other connected to him, especially in the area of uh, fighting kidnapping and banditry. If I start telling you about his successes, but we are proud of him uh, as a person, as he moves towards retirement, we celebrate him. CSP, uh, Justin Bengue. He's a boss who is very detailed. He's a boss who always wants a uh, task accomplished. He's very hardworking. He's an asset, he's a material. He will be missed a lot. He will miss a lot because he has done a lot uh, about security in the state. Uh, he, has, he has cracked a lot of uh, situations, cases. For persons like this, I, we should always find a way of tapping something from them because he really has a lot to offer. The outgoing JTF commander who asked John Lee to join him in observing one minute silence in honor of the divisional police officer in charge of Otupo. CSP John Adiku and other officers who lost their lives in confronting armed criminals who robbed five banks in the town on Friday. Fortunate that the force don't recognize who has really made some sacrifices. But it is unfortunate that everything is politicized. It is not everybody that can persevere. It is not everybody that can make some level of resilience commitment, dedication to make the society better, to make every member of the society sleep with she or her eyes closed. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.